Hi everybody, it is Angie at Treasured Vintage, and I'm bringing you today all of my cloisonne that I could find, and enamels. Uh, some of them are actual, genuine cloisonne, but some of them are just enameled. So I, I will show you these. I had some requests to uh, show this, so here it is. So let's start, and I'll just pull things out and put them over here. Here we have a, a necklace. I had never seen a necklace like this before. Um, I was going to list it, and I think I still will, although it does have some issues right here at the On the extender piece um, some of the enamels missing on there but still cool still cool necklace I actually have two bangles but I don't have the other one right here with me um, this one's a really nice genuine cloisonne bangle I wonder if the white background would be better. Possibly. Let's try that. Eh, maybe not. So a lot of these are earrings, um, some pendants, some pins. I should go in order here somehow or other so I know what I'm doing. Let me show you the big pendants next. Here we have an elephant, an elephant pendant, and these are quite um, common, I think. Um, I've seen a good many of the elephants. This one's really pretty blue. It's really nice condition, and it came with the vintage chain. Of course, the spring ring has a little bit of wear on it, but... That's to be expected. And then I have, this one's really pretty, I think. I love the black, the fish. Um, this one also feels, feels genuine. Um, yeah, same, same depiction on each side. This one's a really, really vintage one. It's, it's got some wear around the edges and a nice, vintage box chain. I think that's a box chain. Maybe not. And then I have this pendant, which I ha actually have two of these exact same pendants. And that would be, that would be this one. It's on, it's on a different chain though. And this one's very beautiful. It's a really nice, really nice depiction and uh, really nice work on this one. It's open work and it is signed on the back. I forget what it's signed. Maybe Amita, I forget. But um, it's got the enamel on the back. It's done very well, done really nice. Love the colors on it. And these kind of, the, in the same color scheme, I guess. And these are, a lot of times you'll see this maker, S-I-T-I, -I, for the cloisonne. And these are clip-on earrings. I have a few that are that are on the card still. And we have a pretty little heart. It's gold. You don't see that color very often in the cloisonne. This is actually a, 
an enameled piece from Edgar Baribi, which I do love his um, earrings and his uh, jewelry. You can find some really nice um, 80s earrings by this maker, Edgar Baribi. Sorry, I keep bumping that. Uh, I keep bumping my tripod, which is going to happen. It's going to happen throughout this video, <laughs> warning you. Um, this is pretty, little red one with the butterfly, a small petite uh, pendant. These are actually uh, Mina Bird by Laurel Birch. These are just, I don't know if they're cloisonne or just enameled, but they're made really nice. Laurel Birch makes nice uh, items. Signed and the name of them was on the back. I have a couple of these scarf um, clips. This one, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that up there or not. But it looks like it might, this part might have bled out some. I don't really know. But this is one of the SITIs. Oh, I bumped that again. So sorry. Some of these earrings are my absolute favorites. These are these are pretty nice. I think I should get in a little closer on some of these. Really pretty. Different colors and different shape for those. These are cool. These are like, uh, what is that bird? Is it a peacock? Looks like, looks like the peacock feathers or something, but it's not the colors of the peacock, so I'm not really sure. But this is also, I think it's the, and maybe that's not S-I-T-I. Maybe, I don't know what that is. Not sure what marking that is. It looks like S-G to me. Those are nice. These are Avon. Probably have seen these before. Um, like like much of the Avon, there's a lot of them out there. Another heart, another heart pendant. This one's open work. These are nice. Uh, they're just all little works of art. I mean, they're all pretty. Um, I could say each and every one of these is nice because they're just so colorful and artistic. They're pierced. And most of these are pierced, I guess. I have some beads and I have these, I have this box separated by colors. So I have the green beads and the green color spot and blue ones and but I have like what, how many beads one two three four five six seven I think I have seven beads all together I have two green ones I have two blue ones big round beads
And these, very pretty. I'm gonna quit saying very pretty. <laughs> okay, these, look how nice, very nice. And these are kind of deco. They have some wear to them, especially on the um, ear wires, but you could always replace those. They're just kind of deco looking. Older, I would say, one of the oldest pair. Coming to the blue section. Huh, where's that other ear? Oh, there it is. Tiny little heart stud earrings. I don't know what that, I guess that's flower, some kind of little flower on there, but these are blue, pierced, little studs. This is a little stick pin. Cute. Here's another scarf clip. This one actually says patent pending in it, and it's got some Chinese or Japanese writing in there. Probably Chinese, right? Because Chinese is cloisonné, right? Um, here's some tiny round ones. And these are... Um, these are Isle of Sky. Isle of Sky. They're like wings. Really nice pair. These are one of my favorites. I love the colors in the in this pair. Just think it's they're really pretty. There I go again. <laughs> there I go again with the really pretty. Can't help it. I don't I need new descriptors. Oh bumping that. Um unicorns. And unicorns are supposed to be rare, you know. But these earrings, however, are not that rare. I've seen these in many different colors. These are green. They're pretty. Uh, <laughs> stop with the pretty. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make a bet with myself. I have to bet myself. I don't know what I can bet, but I'm going to bet. I'm going to challenge myself not to say pretty. I've had these a very long time. Probably when I first started reselling. <laughs> years and years ago. I just remember these from long, long ago. Red ones. A red medium size. Not the real big. But a nice, a nice size pendant. an earring hanging on it. These are oh. these are actually um no they're not I was gonna say silver tone but I think they're just faded some. They must be an older pair. Lots of texture and in the background of these that's pretty cool. adjustment to my camera here. More beads. These are black ones. 
Almost looks like there's blue in there, though, doesn't there? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe they're very, very, like, midnight blue. Tiny locket. Tiny locket. So cute. Let's see if that opens. Well, I'm not going to mess my nails up. But it probably opens. I just can't do it with my nails. And the, this pair... I think I've sold this exact pair. I don't know if that was this color or not, but this is a pretty common design anyway. I think there's different colors of it. These are clips. Tiny black ones. These are silver tone. So that's different. Most of them are gold tone. look to be uh, cheaper cheaper made but just the fact that they're silver tone you don't see that often I have two pairs of these one pairs on the card and is not here uh, and the other pair is loose and they are right here it's the cardinal ones and these are uh, on the card marked uh, genuine cloisonne. Cloisonne. Is it clo or cloy? That is the question. Clo cloisonne or cloisonne? Either way, you know what I'm talking about. These are pretty. Oh, <laughs> that didn't last long. At least I didn't say very pretty. I just said pretty. And they are. They are pretty. Look at the pretty flower. I don't know why there's such a big glare, but I need someone to come here and set up some expert lighting for me. Because my lighting is always whack. Whacked out. Jacked up. All that. All the above. Uh, very nice. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to start showing the stuff and not even say what it is. Stick pin. It's the only... Well, no, I have one other stick pin, I think. But it's the only big fancy one I have. And I don't know if that's supposed to be open like that and nothing was there or if there was something there. I'm not sure. And we have a little... Is it, a, you know, like a mandolin type of thing or some kind of little instrument? It's a different one. The sun finally sh shining today and after our foot is, or so of snow, so I got out and went for a walk, which I thoroughly enjoyed. It was great. Here are... Some birds. You notice some of them have the one texture on the back and some of them have another texture. Like, I don't know what that's about, but you see this. This is almost like a grid, very symmetrical. And this one is all, all over the place, kind of a grid. But most of the enameled or cloisonnate things that I see usually have that on the backs of them. I think I did those already. Am I losing my place? Might be losing my place a little bit. More of my favorites. I think there's some of these that I'm going to be you know, selling, and some of them I might keep because I just really love them. 
Not that I'm going to be wearing them, but I really love them. Who knows? I might wear them. I don't know. It's not likely, though. <laughs> These, one of my favorites. Just because it's there's so much color, it's not all separated. Um, I just like that there's big amounts of the colors, and they're really bold looking. So that's one of my favorites. I'm tempted to keep those. These as well. These are just enameled. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily call them cloisonne. Um, they have a different texture on the back than the other cloisonnes. This is a really different shape too. It's got the uniform grid. Here's a stretchy bracelet. It's still got its uh, stretch. And it's, it's on one of the vintage bands, so you don't want to stretch that too far or it's not coming back. But right now, it still has its shape. But it's about to go. <laughs> I'm sure if you if you stretch that to its full limit, you'd have beads all over the place. Stand by while I dig them out of the box. These are another cool shape ones. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. These are cool shaped. Those. One of my favorites. Don't know if I'm selling these. In very cool shape. I just think they're beautiful. couple more left a couple more compartments to show you this is the second to last compartment oh did I didn't show you these these are another one of my favorites not selling because they have big big sections in too which I like the big sections and a clip they're nice 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 wonder if that's the same. No, that's not the same. I was going to say, is that the same uh, texture as on the other ones that I like, but it's slightly different. Slightly different on the back. Now we're coming into the white. The white stuff. There's little hoops. A white ball. White pendant. Another white pendant. Oh, I had it upside down. Wait a second. Wait a second here. And I keep bumping that. I'm sorry. Again. Is that a fish? And why is it why is it upside down? Is that a fish? Cause up here's the bail for the pendant, right? But why would you have an upside down fish? Unless you just wanna pick it up and look at it. I don't know. It's kinda strange to me. Maybe it's not even a fish. Maybe it's something different. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. 
think it's a butterfly. Is it a butterfly? Butterfly fish. Butterfly fish. Two, two, two animals in one. Here's little ovals. Tiny, tiny clip-ons. And that's the white section. Now this bracelet, holy cow. This bracelet, I think I got this in Dawn's, uh, part of, as part of Dawn's auction win the big bags of stuff um yeah it's got some cloisonne beads on it and some other big charms it's a big giant charm bracelet it's got the fish the fish the articulated fish there's a bead there's a, there's a bead an interesting chunk of bracelet. I kind of like it. I kind of like it, but boy, would that be, that would be a banger on your wrist, wouldn't it? It's neat, though. It's artistic. It's neat to look at. It's not terribly old. It has a lobster claw. There's a tiny uh, I want to say Avon. Avon a butterfly necklace. Real dainty. Dainty butterflies on it. Get it so it's laying around the right way. That's cute. My goodness, that's cute. So actually all I have. That is most of my cloisonne, I'd say like 99% of it because uh, I when I get it, I usually put it in the same place, in that same box. But I know there's at least a bangle around here that is not in that box. Here's my glass ring. Goes with my nails. I usually don't like these. Well, they usually don't fit me. <laughs> but that one fits. Feels good. It's Valentine's Day E. And this is my mother's wedding ring. Right there. And then there's mine underneath. That old vintage, vintage wedding ring. Isn't that pretty? From the 40s. At least that's when she got this, in the 40s. 1940s. So sometimes I will wear it with mine and make a really big show. <laughs> I kind of off offset them so I can wear them together and they almost look like one of those bypass rings right all right that's all i have for you thank you so much for watching um you can look out the window here and see the snow and i have probably let me get let me get the phone out of the tripod and i'll let you see it better here we go there's all of our snow all right have a blessed day, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe. Please like and uh, share even if you want to. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.